Durian is the king of fruits. It's notorious for its pungent odor. It's unique and easy to recognize because it's big, green, and thorny. But have you ever thought about how these fruits are formed? First, the durian tree grows clumps of buds that bloom into flowers. These flowers will not become fruits unless pollination happens. So what is pollination? It's when pollen produced from the male parts of the flower is transferred to the female part of the flower. The female part has to receive pollen from the male parts so that it can develop into fruit. But a durian flower can't use its own pollen to produce healthy fruits. Pollen from the same flower results in fruits that drop off while they are still small. Instead, to produce the healthiest fruits, pollen needs to be exchanged between trees. But how? This is when something extraordinary happens. Did you know that durian flowers are night blooming? They open in the late afternoon and stay open until around midnight. When the durian flowers fully open in the evening, then the fruit bats come. These bats don't eat or destroy the flowers. They are licking the sweet nectar. Pollen gets stuck all over the fur covering their face and bodies. When the bats move around, the pollen gets transferred to another flower. This is known as cross-pollination. Then, after midnight, the flowers start dropping off the tree naturally. Only the pollinated female part remains on the tree and develops into fruit. And that's how we get healthy, yummy durian fruits to eat. So imagine, without bats to help pollinate durian flowers, we may not have durian fruits at all. And this is why we need bats.